But check this out, guys. I did a state. Yeah, man. You could buy your cars right here. But I'm back on the road, baby. Now, hear it again. This is. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I should be like, whoa, Michael Kors, man. Whoa, look at that. But uh, yeah, Michael Kors again. <laughs> whoa. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to San Isidro, California. This is like part of San Diego. Really, really, really super close to the border with Tijuana. And I came here on a mission, as you've seen in the previous video. I came on a mission because my laptop computer broke and I got a really cheap flight to Tijuana and after that I walked across the border from Tijuana I walked into San Isidro area San Isidro is like a division a division of um, San Diego I guess you call it like what do you call it? I don't know. But it is like part of San Diego almost. So I came here to pick up the laptop. And a couple other little items. The laptop was the main one because my laptop didn't work anymore. And I thought, man, I need a laptop. If I buy a laptop in Mexico, I could buy one. But will they have my specifications? You know, because when you do video editing, you need a fairly high powered machine. So, you won't be able to get that to mix it. And on top of that, the keyboards are in Spanish. And I don't know how to type on a Spanish keyboard at all totally impossible for me so that's what I did I I found a cheap flight to Tijuana cheap 205 or 210 bucks round trip and I walked across the bridge they have the what they call CBX you can walk right from Mexico right from the Tijuana Airport you could walk right across the border into the United States you have to the CBX you got to pay $40 for the ticket to cross and that's where you get over the border $40 a round trip so I paid 40 bucks because I'm going back again in a few days so I did that walked over I couldn't get my uber to work but right at the CBX entrance they have a um, taxi service there. Cost me $25 to take me to Motel 6. So it's been a smooth ride. When I checked into the hotel, they had packages for me waiting. I mean, that's pretty awesome. It's like, check into the hotel and they give you presents. Even though I paid for the present, but it was pretty neat. But check this out, guys. I did a state. Yeah, man. You can buy your cars right here. Buy your cars. Look at that. 2016, 10,500 US. Nice looking Jeep. Look here, you could get a Nissan Standard, 5,500 US. Why? Price is good, 14,999 for 2017. Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, Toyota. I don't know what kind of Toyota. Well, the prices are great. Prices are great. Buy these cars, take them down to Belize, and sell them. Make a big profit. But you know what? I like these. I like these here. A Ranger 2004. 6999 It's a Ranger. It's a Nissan. The prices are good. 2007. 13,499 So you could buy your 
by a vehicle here. Carry it. Bakum that Belize. Okay. Denny's. That sounds like a plan. The last time I ate food was in Mexico. Going on 48 hours almost. All I've been living is junk food. When I checked into the hotel last night, I was so tired. I didn't know Denny's was this close to the hotel. I thought it was further away. I could have come here. They probably didn't tell me Denny's was so close. So there's another Motel 6 here competition and they probably maybe they own this Denny's anyway I went to the gas station I bought a big ass burger check it out I put a picture right here I bought myself a pack of hot dog wieners and then um, stuck in the microwave and ate well yeah there is another nice hotel six here look at that I like the one where we are so let me go to Denny's eat something good I haven't eaten in Denny's in a while Let's see what I got mm. hi I need some food just for me yeah right there good okay I'm at Denny's. Let's have some food. Okay. I'm so hungry, I'm just shaking. I'm hungry. Well, they say it's fried pepper burger, but I don't taste any pepper. All right. Tastes a little bit of jalapeno. Absolutely nothing else spicy. Anyway, guys, I'm going to come bore you with a food eating video. I'll turn off the camera and enjoy my burger. See you a little bit. Don't go away. I'm going to keep on walking after this. Got some nourishment in me. Keep myself going before I conk out, fall asleep, or pass out on the street from home. See you in a bit. Well, guys, that was it. I had a great meal here at Denny's. Good, good burger. The only thing it's they said was a five pepper burger. I'm still waiting for the five peppers because. I didn't taste any pepper in it. It did have a couple of slices of jalapeno, but that's about it. <coughs> the weather's really nice. It's maybe 65, 70 degrees. Really awesome not to be sweating for a change. Because in Merida, I'm always soaking soaking wet with sweat I haven't sweat since I came here look over there the sign says Mexico only I will try to zoom in that's how close we are to the border really really close <clears throat> 
what the heck is this? Hotel Primera. Looks like it's been shut down. Shut down by the city. Look at the city buses here. That's the San Diego City bus system. Full of advertising. Yeah, so the meal was good, guys. You know, Denny's. Have you ever been to Denny's? Let me know. So I am walking. They told me there's a mall down here called Las Americas. So I'm heading in that direction right now. Oh, wow. Look back there over the hills. I don't know if you can see it. I'll see it when we get a little closer. That's Tijuana. That's Mexico there. That is Mexico over there. All the people around here, they're all Mexicanish too, you know? When you go to Denny's, you pay the bill, you give them a tip. They say, thank you very much. <laughs> heavy, heavy Spanish accent. Very heavy. Look at the traffic here. It's busy, busy. Yeah, there was a nice, looks like a nice hotel there and it's been shut down by San Isidro. City Council or whatever. So let me see if I could find this mall. See here? San Diego Police Department, no trespassing. Who knows what happened there? But they've been shut down, put out of business. Welcome to the United States, guys. I did a states again. Maras. Let's go explore. Crap, I'm already talking like the people here. Let's go explore and see what we can find. Yeah, guys, so I found that um, Motel 6. I've stayed there before, a few years ago. That was pretty shady. But they've cleaned it up, man. They've really cleaned it up. When we stayed there the time before, they were like some really sketchy looking people hanging out there, sleeping under the stairs and smoking a wacky tobacco. But now, no, now it's a, it's a clean ship they're running now. It is good now. So I hope I'm going the right way. Let me see. These look like our condos. California. Oh yeah, Park Haven Apartments. That's where we're at right now. Park Haven Apartments. I'm looking for, it's called Las Americas. It's supposed to be like outlet mall. 15 minute walk it says so. Let's see. Yeah, my stuff from Amazon arrived. That's the reason I came here, because I ordered some stuff on Amazon and I needed it quick. And then um, I needed the English keyboard that you can't get in Mexico. I could order from Amazon in Mexico, but and if I order from Amazon, the US would ship it to Mexico. You know, if something's wrong, shipping it back or you gotta pay duty, all those things. So you gotta find a way to beat the system. And I get a little vlogging trip included in this. Look, these are all condos along here. I got a bunch of videos still coming up from the United States. Make sure you guys check them out. I couldn't edit a lot because of my computer problems. But I'm back on the road, baby. Yeah. I'm back in business. The video yesterday, I started editing on the phone. I hate editing on phones. I like a big screen 
to edit on a phone it's just so hard so hard to do for me at least where are you Maria she edits everything on her him she has one of the Samsung folds and it's like a little tablet right she edits on that but I, I don't I don't like that I want a computer It feels good to be in the United States again. Really good. Ah, oh, this weather is... I'm loving it. Today is the... What's the date? 8th of November, 2024. And the weather is good. Of course, we're right on the Mexican border. At night it gets a little chilly. I actually had to I had to turn off the air conditioner last night in the room. That was chilly. And I turned it off for like an hour and then it was hot. Then I turned it on again. And I I just covered myself with a thick blanket. Oh there it is. That's America, so I'm here already. Wait. Holy shit, listen. Wait. Wait! He don't fool around. Now hear it again? Listen. Wait. <laughs> wait. I'm surprised you don't say wait more for. <laughs> what? Camino de la Plaza. He said something like that. I missed it. He got a funny voice. So this is it here, guys. Look, he comes up. Las Americas Premium Outlets. I thought it was further. It's not bad at all. That's a very close walk. I've never been here before. I've stayed here in San Isidro once before, but we just pretty much slept, you know. I'm smelling the air because here in, in the United States, you smell that bad, wacky, tobacco, weedy smell, you know. But I can smell it somewhere, it's stinking up, I smell like a skunk. This is it, guys. Las Americas. I wonder, can you go inside? Or is it like outside? I'm pretty sure you could walk inside. I don't know if they let me film in there. That I'm not sure. But it's only one way of finding out. By trying. Polo by Ralph Lauren. See here they're putting up Christmas decorations right there. Oh wow. They have a outlet mall like this in Vancouver, but it's kind of like a open air look, giant Christmas tree. I think this might be the same style. Yeah, like open air place. And then you walk from store to store, which is good. It's not raining. But it's raining, that sucks. I forgot to see if I put on my mic, let me check. No, I don't have it on. Yeah, this is all like, that's what it is. It's like a shopping plaza. You walk around outside and then you walk into the store that you like. I don't like malls like this. I like malls enclosed in a building. 
course I think this is pretty dry country I don't think they get a lot of rain here so it should be okay in Vancouver I know they have it and you go and it's pouring rain and I walk with your umbrella and then see where you leave your umbrella I don't know I don't know I've got good shoes which I don't need any I don't need any shoes I'm separate shoes I got my combat boots that I travel with see I travel with those that does the trick for me Ugo Boss or is it just Ugo I don't know is it Ugo Boss or is it just Ugo J Crew you see me I'm a person I I pretty much had it all I really doesn't excite me this kind of stuff I just buy what I need and I don't need a lot anymore like I need a computer I went and bought a computer but if I don't need one I don't buy one I need a pair of black running shoes for when we go to India but you know I'm gonna buy a pair over there because you know when you go into a lot of temples and in and out of the temples you um, have to take off your shoes right so I'm not gonna buy myself no expensive ones here sunglasses hut expensive sunglasses Crocs they got it all man and I think a lot of this stuff is duty free too I think you could get duty free and go look at the sunglasses I definitely do not need sunglasses I've got too many and I only wear like two maybe three pairs all the time I got some bra whoa fancy colors I got some that I've they still got a label on them but I don't buy any pair of sunglasses that cost more than 20-25 bucks because I lose them I break them stuff like that so I don't buy none expensive but yeah okay this is okay doesn't impress me too much Christmas music I need some black like that Yeah, I'm gonna buy some knockoff knockoff stuff in India that's all I need something that I doesn't fit in my bag I can throw it away they pretty much got all the same stores like they do have up in Canada and I've seen it also it really don't excite me I should be like whoa Michael Kors man whoa look at that but uh, yeah Michael Kors again <laughs> you know what I wish they really had here was a good electronic store you know I really don't need to buy any electronics but I sure would love to go look at some electronics you know that would be so good but it's all pretty much clothes and stuff like that None of that interests me 
I'm not interested in clothes and shoes and electronics I'm interested in. I don't need any but I love looking at them I never see enough electronics <laughs> you know a simple thing is I went into this store here psycho bunny I consider that like what a waste of store people are going crazy about the store because of the picture of that bunny on it psycho bunny it's like why why <laughs> you know makes no sense for me I mean I walked in the store I can't film in most of them because of the music I walked in the store I pretty much just turned around and walked out because there's just like nothing in there it's garbage just because it has a little psycho bunny on it spending a bunch of money not for me definitely not for me ah presses here smell good look at the security like you got a segue mall cop that's the famous mall cop from the movie yeah this is it, Las Americas. I'll take a little walk over on that side this is a huge shopping complex huge and they're capitalizing on it that they, they got customers from both sides of the border there's nothing I really need so it's not too exciting for me if they have electronics store I'd be really happy but I haven't seen any Maybe over on this side they'll have something. I don't even know how I'm gonna get back to the hotel from here. I got no idea. Hey, that's why I like best over there. 7-Eleven. One of my favorite stores on earth. <laughs> I should maybe go give myself a big gulp. I haven't had a big gulp in so long. Ooh. Walking, walking time. Yeah, I don't see anything that interests me around here. Nothing at all. I do want some electronics, but I don't see any. Seven Eleven, so far the best place I've seen. And I'm I'm a person's pretty satisfied in life that's what it is pretty satisfied I need a computer I bought a computer so it works I don't need two computers I don't need three but I would still go look at some I'm gonna take a walk at Ross see what they have cheap clothes I don't need any clothes either see what I'm wearing here this that's what's going to India
Well, like here, you can walk across the street. Cars will stop for you, won't run you over. If you want a job, they're hiring. I'm gonna take a look in here. Oh my god. Wow. This is wild in here. In here you can get really good deals if you're looking for clothes you're here in the United States you get a great great deals nothing I want though I have to have electronics section here I want to look at electronics so bad I might have to tomorrow take a taxi to Best Buy just to go look. I don't need anything from Best Buy just to go look. Get out of here. <laughs> I need to get out of here. I'm on the wrong side anyway. Excuse me. walk to the other end back here see what I can find it's all close all close guys I'm out of here <laughs> it's nothing for me here absolutely zero hey, I need some black runners I don't like it when they have white on the bottom full black something like that Forty bucks. Not my size anyway. Forty bucks for this stuff. Turn the prices like new. Yeah, I'm good to go. Absolutely good to go. I know a lot of people will go nuts in this place. A lot of people go nuts in there, but not me, man. 
Not me. Look at this guy, he looks like he's doped up. He's doing the zombie move, you know. Whatever he's doing, hit him. I hit him hard. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know how I'm gonna get back to my hotel. Back there though, that's Tijuana, up on the hill. Looks like this side is all out of business. Looks like everything is closed over here. Nothing open. Absolutely nothing open. I've got to figure out how to get to the hotel. There's an electronic store near the hotel, so I gotta look on Google Maps. That probably closed. Oh, that's still open. Maybe I'll walk over there just to look. Don't need anything but look. Look is the thing. Marshalls. Yeah, it doesn't help that you know I've been in all those stores, I've seen all this, so for me it's not exciting. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. There's a Dollar Tree back there, but it's clear and sale. Yeah. I'm go. I'm gonna take a look. Maybe you guys see something you like. I think these here are the bottom of the barrel stores or something. I don't know what the deal is here. See, that's why I wanted something black. Full black. What's the price of those? Thirty-five bucks. No, thank you. I can buy that in Asia for 10 or 15. Close, 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 close. So we got on sunglasses. Five bucks a pair. See what I got. See, I wouldn't wear with a leaf like that on the side. Not for me. They look cool otherwise, but that leaf, a leaf there, that's a turn off. No, nothing. Guys, I think I think these stores here. I think that these stores are in. Look how you rent Thank movies here. For your safety, the parking lot is being video recorded. You know that tells you. <laughs> you heard? Did you hear that? That tells you. Look here. Here you can come in and rent movies. Yeah. This tells you that. This is a kind of a dead-end area you know welcome to oh look at all the cameras they got up there there must be a lot of stealing around here let me give myself a big gulp guys let's see if they got big gulps here 
I put some music over this so I won't talk. Yeah. I don't want a giant big gulp. Get a small big gulp. I don't want it too big. Alright, let me get some. Thank you, Diet Coke. I think Diet Coke will do the trick. have good straws like this. Not a straw for a big gulp. It's a straw for for ice cream or something. Okay, this will work. This will work. It's a skinny straw but it'll do the trick. I hope. I don't want those other straws to that's locked up it's people keep stealing people are stealing chicken man they're slow I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of this joint. It's obviously a, the bad end of town. All the malls and that are all the stores, you know. All shut down. They got the chicken. When they got the fried chicken, it's locked up. That tells you everything. Ah, oh, it says close. I'm gonna get to electronics. Let me go T-Mobile. Go look at some phones. I might have to come around here and buy some food tomorrow. I got Popeyes. I got 
A lot of stuff. Let's see what I got. Do they still sell these? Wow. You remember these? Around? Yeah. I even got a phone, I don't need a phone. I like looking at it, but they have a lousy selection. See all those places all shut down, all abandoned. Let me try to get across the street. Find a hotel. I got no idea where to go, but I'll figure it out. If I think I pull up my Google Maps. I can't wait to go to India. Yeah, India. That is more my bag of tea for travel India Belize even Mexico yeah. Vietnam those kind of countries more interesting where they cross the road here this is like a major highway maybe after my pick lights I can cross I got some editing to do. It's gonna be a long night. Really, really long night. I gotta catch up, you know. I haven't dropped a video for you guys in days. Well, when you see this one, you've gotten a few videos already, but while I was here, I haven't dropped a video for days. And that's not good. I wanna cross the street. I want to figure out how to get to the hotel. Like these here are apartments. Probably low cost apartments. They look kind of nice, but... I can bet you that they're pretty low cost apartments. Is there a crosswalk anywhere? Come on. I could run across, but if a cop sees me, I can get a ticket for jaywalking. No. Oh, there's a crosswalk up there. Yeah, there's a walk there. I think I gotta be on that side to um, get back to the hotel. I think so. Not 100% sure, but I think so. Willa Road. Yeah, okay. How far? Okay, this is. Okay, I know where I am. I'm gonna cross here. I gotta go up there. 
Let me walk up this way. Let me walk this way, guys. I'm going the right way. This is where I came down earlier. So there'll be a. I get to the main highway there. Across, across. I think it was Willow Road I walked down. Hopefully there's a crosswalk here. Somewhere, somewhere. See how they stop for pedestrians? Here in the United States, they stop for pedestrians. You don't have to worry. Well, they, some people will run you over still, but not on purpose, right? It's when they weren't paying attention or, or if they're drunk or high or... I hope this is the road. Looks different to me. Oh. Looks very different, but I'm pretty sure this is it. Yeah, this is it. I'm going the right way. Over there is the overpass that says to Mexico. That's up ahead there. I just hope I can get across this road here. Across that one somewhere. Hopefully they got a crosswalk. I have a pretty good sense of direction, so it's pretty hard for me to get lost. I got like a compass inside my brain. Oh yeah, see, Park Haven, I had walked by there. So I'm going the right way. Oh, my battery's almost dead too. So this might just end in the middle of nowhere. Hey, that's a... Looks like an RV park over there, see? Got a whole bunch of RVs. They look like they're long stay. They don't look like they're travelers. Those are long stay RVs. So where do I cross the road? Yeah, I'm getting by that broken down motel. You want to shut down by the city and go along there and then uh, get back to Motel 6. Up straight ahead there, that's the overpass. That's the road that takes you into Mexico. And it's a line of cars. Man, I hope I, there's a crossing there for the road. I hope I can get across. Yeah, these areas, I think at night they're kind of sketchy. Not really sure, but I almost think so. Too much fences and too much stuff locked up. So it's possible. Oh, there's a cool overpass there. Look at that, you can walk across the highway going to Mexico. Wonder if there's a way to get up there. I think there is. 
I gotta make sure my battery don't go dead before I get up there. I do have a spare, so I'm always prepared. Yeah. There go the police. Police, they got nice cruises. Yeah, let me go take a look up there. That'd be a good view. I still don't know where I'm gonna cross this road. I might just have to run across. I don't see a walk walking way anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna go up there, guys. We're gonna see the line of cars going into Mexico. Yeah, we should have a good view from up there. Let's go. Right. I hope I don't get mugged up here. Look at all the trash. Lots of garbage. I think it's safe during the day. But at night. I don't think so. Whoa. This here is awesome. I'm blown. This thing is steep. Look at the cars going into Mexico. Look at that line of cars. I'll stop up in the middle so you guys can see good. That is crazy. You see how they do that up there? So people don't throw shit. Guys, look at their line of cars over there too. See, they're all going into Mexico. Tijuana is back there. Tijuana is back there. It's crazy. Look, coming into the United States, there's almost nobody. Almost no cars. Is this thing still on? Can my battery's going dead? Yeah, still on. It's on red, so it's going to shut down any second now. Let me shut this down and get this battery topped up. I'll be back in a second. Look at that guys. Pretty, pretty neat. Hey, that's a highway to Tijuana? Yeah. That's a lot of cars. Oh, yeah, I know, look at it, it's crazy. Look at those cars, guys. Everywhere going to Mexico. What are the license plates? Let me look at the license plates. Yeah. Yeah, there's some Mexican license plates. And there's some California ones too. Let me see what he says. Oh yeah. Huh? Freeway five. Freeway five? Yeah, that's eight oh five. Eight oh five over there. That yeah. also goes to Mexico. I saw that's also oh they joined together. Yeah over there. Yeah. Crazy traffic oh, man. Yeah. 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 Friday man that's what he says that's why it's so busy it's like wow I put my I put on my drone so you guys can see look at that background there look at Tijuana up on the hill I 
I got a video from Tijuana coming up for you guys. It's coming up. This is just nuts. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And the traffic continues on this side. Let's go behind this thing so we don't get that sun sun flare on the lens. Look at that. Look at those cars. Well, I'm glad I came up here. Wow, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a 360 degree photo right here. I'm going to put it on my Facebook. And also uh, I have I have my regular Doug P Vlogs Facebook and I have my other Facebook which is Doug P Vlogs 360 360 where I have nothing but 360 degree photos. Let me turn shut the camera off here for a second and take a few photos and then I'll be right back. Well that was pretty interesting. That traffic is just crazy. Look at that. Look at that. It just nuts, it just doesn't end. I'm glad I came up here. A lot more interesting than the mall. Wow. Look at Tijuana. Tijuana back there. All that there on the hill is all Tijuana. See that the arch? I don't know if you can see that arch. I walked underneath that, that's the arch of peace. Awesome, awesome find. Very awesome find. Look at that traffic. Man, I'm so glad I'm not driving there. Everybody's going into Mexico. I'm thinking most of them must be people who work here, but live there. Or what? They can't be going there to buy beer for shopping. I don't know what they're up to. That's a lot of cars. Yeah, this place here looks like at night. I think it's kind of sketchy at night. I don't see no needles, so... That's a good sign. I hope. <laughs> I hope. A lot, of, a lot of garbage though. Lots of garbage. Look at that abandoned hotel. There's a guy walking over there taking pictures. And I'm taking picture of him. He's taking picture of me. I want to get over this road because I want to be on the other side. Okay, that's where the hotel is. <laughs> I gotta try to figure out how the heck I do this. Here in the corner is the safest because I can see, but there's a lot of traffic. I don't see any walking path anywhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 I can make it. I can do it. I did it. And I'm over. I am over. 
Yeah, that's a weird looking setup there. Who knows what the deal is there? They probably got teared down and build a new. They were over there, just some people underneath the overpass, I think. I think they live there and I could hear some. There's a little kid there with his mother and they're digging in the dirt. Wow. A lot of people come to the United States, you know, and I think it's the land of dreams. But um, no, life is not easy either. Life is hard. A lot of people are suffering. A lot of people are going through hard times. A lot of people don't have to eat. If you make it, you can make it really big, but it can be hard too. I always recommend people, you know, you're better off staying in your home country, a little poorer, but a lot happier. Because money is not always happiness. You might have a lot of money, but you might not be happy. Look at the line up there, continues to Tijuana. That is nuts. That's why I ate at Denny's. Cheap cars. Cheap, cheap. It's one thing, cars in the States are cheap. I like these things. Look at this thing. <laughs> Those are so cool. <laughs> I love it. Hey. Let me um, let me take it. Maybe I'll do my thumbnail here. Let me give it a try. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. he's attacking me! He's attacking me! Holy cow! Uh. He's attacking me, guys. Whoa! -ho. Here it comes. Whoa! Smack me right in the face. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is fun. Yeah, he smacked me right in the face. Just knock, knock the hat off my head. <laughs> oh wow! What a great ending to a, a long walk. I'm getting close to my Motel 6 where I'm staying. It's called Studio 6. Been totally renovated, that's what one of the workers is saying. I know we stayed there before and it was uh, bad. And the guy told me the same thing, the worker. He said, this place used to be really bad. But um, it's been totally renovated. And it's quite nice now quite quite nice I'm gonna make a video tomorrow I'll show you the rooms what they like I'll show you the pool and it's right here just minutes from the Mexican border minutes away and you come here you know you stay here the night like if you're driving if you're driving towards Belize or even towards well in that direction towards Belize and you don't want to cross the border late at night because you don't want, I don't think you want to drive through Tijuana late at night, I don't know about that. You um, come, you stay here overnight, rest up, and then early in the morning, you hit the border. Or also, if you're going to be flying from Tijuana towards anywhere in Mexico, or you want to fly towards Belize, you can fly from Tijuana. If you're going to Belize, you fly from Tijuana straight to Chetamal and then just take a taxi to the border 
or take a bus over the border easy easy very very easy oh there's my motel six back there I don't know what I'm gonna eat tonight should I buy some big ass burger again or should I go to Denny's or what I'm not sure the Casa de Cambio 1966 for the US and, they, and if you want to buy it from them they charge you 1990 so this is the place where I'm staying Studio 6 Suites totally renovated quite nice so I gotta get busy I still gotta get my new computer that just arrived today I gotta get it all installed and everything set up so I'll see you guys later on bye bye